Hello everyone, now let us discuss about infections resistant to antibiotics which comes under chapter 1 of ICD-10 CM coding guidelines. First of all, what is antibiotic resistance? We all know that certain infections are resistant to antibiotics that we use. So let us first define the term antibiotic resistance. In simple terms, antibiotic resistance is the ability of bacteria and other microorganisms to resist the effects of an antibiotic to which they were once sensitive. So, whenever there is a resistance to antimicrobial drugs, Whenever there is an evidence of resistance to antimicrobial drugs in the literature, we have to assign an additional code from the category Z16 to indicate the resistance to antibiotics. Now let us discuss some of the examples of superbugs. Superbugs are nothing but the microorganisms which show resistance to wide range of antibiotics. Some of the examples are Clostridium difficile, Carbapenum resistant enterobacteria, drug resistant Neisseria gonorrhea, methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. MRSA topic will be discussed in detail in separate session. Other examples are extended spectrum beta lactamase producing E. coli, ESBL producing E. coli, Candida auris. These are some of the examples of superbugs. Now let us discuss the roots of resistance. Some of the core reasons for antibiotic resistance are inappropriate use by patients and over prescription by doctors and also poor infection control in healthcare setting that is poor hygiene and sanitation and non compliance to antibiotic course by patients and overuse of antibiotics in agricultural field feed and fish farming these are some of the roots for antibiotic resistance now let us discuss a coding example. Here a patient is diagnosed with urinary tract infection UTI due to ESBL E. coli. Now in this scenario we require a total of three codes. The first PDX will be N39.0 to indicate the UTI or urinary tract infection followed by the causative agent E. coli. The code is B96.20. In addition, because the urinary tract infection is due to ESBL E. coli, ESBL is nothing but extended spectrum beta lactamase. Certain microorganisms they produce an extended spectrum beta lactamase enzyme which is the primary cause for antibiotic resistance. So in order to indicate that antibiotic resistance we need to use an additional code Z16.12 to indicate the ESBL resistance. Here is the list of codes from category Z16. The first is Z16.1. It mainly indicates resistance to beta lactam antibiotics. Resistance to unspecified beta lactam antibiotics is indicated by the code Z16.10, whereas resistance to penicillins, amoxicillin, ampicillin is indicated by Z16.11 and resistance due to extended spectrum beta lactamase 
that we have discussed in the previous example is indicated by the code Z16.12 and resistance to other specified beta lactam antibiotics or resistance to cephalosporins is indicated by Z16.19. Now coming to the next category Z16.2 it is subcategorized into following codes. Resistance to unspecified antibiotic or antibiotic resistance NOS should be indicated by Z16.20 and resistance to vancomycin is indicated by Z16.21. Resistance to vancomycin related antibiotics is indicated by Z16.22 and resistance to quinolones or fluoroquinolones is indicated by Z16.23 and resistance to multiple antibiotics is indicated by Z16.24 and resistance to other single specified antibiotic or resistance to aminoglycosides or resistance to macrolides or resistance to sulfonamides or resistance to tetracyclines in all these scenarios code Z16.29 is indicated. Now coming to the next category, resistance to other antimicrobial drugs. It is indicated by code Z16.3. It is further subcategorized into following codes. Resistance to unspecified antimicrobial drugs. Is indicated by Z16.30. Drug resistance NOS should be coded by Z16.30. Whereas we have separate code for antibiotic NOS. We should not confuse. The drug resistant NOS is coded by Z16.30. And resistance to antiparasitic drugs or Resistance to quinine and related compounds is indicated by Z16.31. And resistance to antifungal drugs is indicated by Z16.32. Resistance to antiviral drugs is indicated by Z16.33. Resistance to antimycobacterial drugs is indicated by Z16.34. And resistance to single antimycobacterial drug is indicated by Z16.341. Resistance to multiple antimycobacterial drugs is indicated by Z16.342. These codes are specifically used to indicate drug resistant tuberculosis. And resistance to multiple antimicrobial drugs is indicated by Z16.35. Whereas resistance to other specified antimicrobial drugs is indicated by Z16.39. Now let us discuss one more example. Here a patient is seen for Clostridium difficile colitis. And the cultures of organism have found this infection resistant to flagyl. Flagyl is an antimicrobial drug which comes under the category of nitroimidazole. And since the cultures are resistant to flagyl, a new drug regimen will be started at this time. So, first the PDX should be A04.7, which is nothing but enterocolitis due to Clostridium difficile, followed by an additional code Z16.39 to indicate resistance to other specified antimicrobial drugs, as flagyl comes under the class of nitroimidazole. By this, we complete infection resistance to antibiotics. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical 
ਘੋੜੀ